everybody i am in the process of fixing well rebuilding this thing or how can i say uh geez uh adding to enhancing so as you can see here if you've seen the picture before you'll see the standard setup i have with most of the g1 characters with some others thrown in like laser uh and kingdom um ultra magnus but then you have the titans here and for a while you see that spot right there belong to black zurich and look i recently took a piece of wood cut an angle and stuff so it could fit around my wall unit and i added it to here and then i took an old piece of wood thing and i bolted it to um somewhat of, it's like a bracket how can you say it i built like a a you and you i built this under here if you can see that right there i built this a long time ago on it because i used it for something else and then i was like you know what instead of going into the wall and being overly invasive i just basically took a l bracket under here and then i used the leveler to make sure it will be able to sustain who you see here okay and then i did this before with another piece of wood this is all all three of these pieces of wood that you see here this one here that one here and that all were one piece so i felt like to have a place for devastator from the combiner wars i basically because i'm very tight place i live in a studio basically yeah i live in a big studio but it's very tight on collector space because it's pretty much like a whole it's a whole furnished apartment so i took this piece cut that hair stained it and i use brackets under there too if you can see i used a big one i used this one for a front support a small l bracket for devastator and roll hauler and then i took another piece and i was like okay i can cut angle and you see the support that you see there here. Now, the plan for this piece is to stain it because it's going to fit like a glove. Well, semi like a glove. And I got to get some more brackets to hold it, a big bracket because the whole plan is to fit it here like that. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to drop this lower and make sure there's enough clearance and Batman's going to have to be relocated. Funny story, I won this from Six Flags Great Adventure here in New Jersey many years ago. And it was the animated series Batman. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Um, and I'm gonna drop this lower to about the point where it can sit over my IKEA computer desk, just above it, and be enough to fit a fifth Titan because it's going, I mean, well, a sixth Titan or another combiner because going here into this spot right here will be a guardian yes i couldn't get omega supreme so i just basically got him in blue and white because you know he's a guardian and then of course you remember what you see here which is uh most of g1 characters i got a little omega supreme there that's probably the best i'm gonna get unless hasbro reissue but jetfire is a big boy and then we got, of course, Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus, which I can't wait for Optimus to go right in that blank spot. Or Grimlock is going to go there, and I'm going to have to do some reshuffling. So that's basically how I'm rebuilding this section here. And then, of course, you have your Obscures. Well, not Obscures, but a mix of Autobots and Decepticons here. You got Skylinks. You got Transformers 1, movie version, Optimus, voiced by Prince Hemsworth. Then you have these here. But then I have a dedicated, this was my jet fire for a long time, the anniversary one. But this guy here is just, he, he's a beast. And I know Shattered, uh, I think it's Shattered Dimensions or what was it? Um, that one, the purple and black one, the black but purple, that's awesome. But then again, you go to the Decepticons here. And... My latest Decepticon I got from somebody in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, from somebody in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, is you see him, you see him right there next to Six Shot. Um, cool figure, of course. I got more than one Sweet, more than one Shark the Con, Noah, Noah. But 
Magnetron. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Then you got Armada Megatron. Blitzwing. And I like how this display unit. Well, and then I know these are not GI. Um, they Hasbro, but they GI Joe classified. So I haven't even taken them out the box. I have honestly. I'm out of space, basically. And Transformers live rent free in this uh, area right here. I used to be a big gamer, but I realized I gained my, my stream. My gaming has become more streamlined because um, I don't do much gaming on here unless it's PC itself. So there you go. That's the update on the corner, basically. I know my collected thing is taking over. And people are like, what, what is your end game? I'm like, you know, in years I can resell a lot of this stuff. So it's not like it, it's, just, it's like a complete waste. It really isn't. And of course, by that time, I could always have youngsters coming up in my family, relatives, cousins, you name it, that will get everything here they will get. And their children would get and they find some joy. They can do what they want with it. I'd be gone by then. But of course, you know, I collect other things as well. But Transformers has been it for me. Look at the displays. I've built most of these by hand. This I built by hand. This whole display and these bottom attachments I built by hand. This, of course, and this thing here I built by hand. So I'm really proud of it. And I know I'm not the perfect guy. I don't have these clean looking um things maybe i need to get the, the the covers over those so it can be more of a clean light but in due time y'all uh thank you for watching and i'll do an update or throw a picture here to show uh the guardian fit right there next to arc one metroplex fortress maximus and then of course like i said you got black zarek or like in japan black zarek um <laughs> And then you got Devastated Combiner Wars. And I like that they gave Road Caller his own story on why he's pretty much close in color. He used to be part of them, but they became servants of Megatron and he didn't. So he joined the Autobots. Anyway, I'm out, y'all. Peace.